actually techniques and people who can help you because I know, you know, we were talking about the sisterhood before and as Kerry said, sometimes it can be competitive. I went to a school reunion the other day and one of my girlfriends um, looked me up and down and said, oh, look at you, aren't you looking healthy? You know, which is one of those... <laughs> And, uh, yes, yeah, but in terms of motherhood, mm -hmm. sometimes you can go to mother's group and mm -hmm. the girls will ask you first, how's the baby sleeping? And if you're honest and you say, actually, I'm not coping, he's waking up through the night, what about you? They'll go, not a problem at all, sleep yeah. through. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't make you feel particularly confident. Did you suffer from that a little, Kate? Did you feel, not so much mother women, but just feel like something was wrong with you because you couldn't oh, get... absolutely, because uh, it was very confronting for me because it was my second baby. So oh, I assumed that, makes sense, that yeah. I was, you know, it was going to be an easier run this time and I was going to know what to do. And when we started to initially have problems, I thought I'd be able to fix it yeah. and I couldn't. So it was a very hard and time it's, for me. it's self-perpetuating, isn't it? Because it gets yeah. stuck in a very vicious cycle. Mm -hmm. and That's it's right. It's very hard to get out of. No one mm. teaches you how to be a mum, though, Mary, do they? Oh, no. It's, <laughs> it's a very, you know, it, it's not a natural instinct, necessarily. And babies are very different, too. Some babies, mm. I had three that were very easy to settle oh, and one that wasn't. Absolutely. You know, I'll that, actually get, like, a, an, an eighth child who's not sleeping. I've been into the house for the eighth child. Yes. And all the others have slept. So I think the really important thing to point out is that with all the strategies we're using this day and age, if you're not seeing results in between one and two days, if yep. you are not seeing massive turnaround results, he was sleeping through on the first night, he murmured, but we didn't need to go in, and he was waking every 40 minutes. Mm. And so by the second night, he slept through every night from there. So if you deal with the reason why they're crying, there is no crying to manage. And we mm. need to get away, break away from this, put him in, let him scream, that's how we're going to deal with it, and actually start moving in the direction of, mm. let's look at what he needs to be able to cope in the cot so that it's not stressful for you or for baby. Well, I have to say that um, the Baby Whisperer has been very, successful for me Elizabeth thank you very much and I have received actually a number of emails from women and men wanting to know where they can get more information so Shane could you tell us where you can get some tips from well certainly from my website australianbabywhisperer.com.au don't forget the .au there's also Tresillian in Tresillian New South and Wales Caratani, Caratani, yeah. but in other states you've got Riverton in Queensland Q QE in uh, in Canberra, um, Magali in Northern Territory in Western Australia. And, and of course you can go to our website at The Catch Up. Thank you so much Shane, Pleasure. Kate and James for joining us. It's been a delight having you on the couch, Pleasure. eating your great, your yeah. gorgeous <laughs> things. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Um, don't think you're on your own if no, you're having trouble with no. your sleeping. It happens and um, it's fixable. Yeah, absolutely. And now it's time for the news with Mark Ferguson. Good afternoon Mark. Can you give us the latest on the Indonesian